In the very early days, networks were small. Configuring static routes manually is feasible. We can use static routing to make H1 and S1 reachable to each other. This is done by configuring static routes at R1 and R2. H1 ping S1. Ping is forwarded by R1 to R2. Then R2 forwards it to S1. The link connecting R1 and R2 is down. H1 ping S1 again. Ping is dropped. It happens when R1 forwards ping over a down link. At R1, modify the static route that reaches S1. Change next hop to R3 now. At R3, add two static routes to reach H1 and S1's networks. H1 ping S1. This time, ping is forwarded by R1, R3, R2, and reach S1.